All right, everyone. Um, so I am not lecturing tonight, but thank you for coming. This is the CS Foundation Program uh, Lecture Series. And tonight we're going to be hearing about web development. Patrick here is going to be giving the presentation instead of me. I will be sitting in the back and making snarky comments to the camera. Um, so with that, I will leave it to Patrick. All right. So I'm Pat Jake. I'm a senior in computer science. Uh, I have two minors in technology, arts, and media, and a master in machine science. Um, I've been doing web development for about seven years now. Um, I'm in high school and self-taught for the most part. So I guess we'll dive right into it. Um, so when you want to build a website, um, you want to use a basic text editor. Um, you can use you know Index or Vim if you're that hardcore, or you can do Notepad or text edit, um, depending on if you're a Mac or Windows. Um, for the most part, I like to use, um, you can, and then from there, you can do a step up and do um, text wrangler or notepad plus plus. Notepad plus plus for Windows or text wrangler for Mac. Um, the good point about that is they do syntax highlighting, and so it's very helpful for when you're creating the website to know like the different colors you want to just makes it easier. Um, the editor of choice I use is Sublime um, Text 2. Um, it's a free to download um, text editor. It's an infinite trial, so you never have to purchase it. But um, I really like it just because you can, I mean, it has a bunch of like the colors, all the syntax, more or less. Um, but it just has a clean interface, and then over here on the side, you can um, see your whole code at once. Um, and there's some other useful features, more or less, but 